Some of the most popular foods we eat, as well as cosmetic and drug products mm. that we use, contain a chemical that's been banned in other countries. Yeah, it's called titanium dioxide. And tonight, consumer investigator Steve Spracer joins us now getting some answers about this. Does it have an effect on our bodies and if we should really be worried about this here in the U.S.? Well, guys, these are Skittles, one of hundreds of food products that contain titanium dioxide. So why single these out? Well, it turns out that a California man has filed a lawsuit saying that they are unfit for human consumption because of the titanium dioxide used to make them. This is titanium dioxide used in food to whiten or enhance its color. Look at some um, uh, gum. You see that it's, it's bright white, and so it's used to have that bright appearance. Um, it also use, is used to make colors pop. It's also used in sunscreens because of its reflective property. You're not getting that UV that would cause a sunburn. Recently, a California man filed this class action lawsuit against Mars Candy, the makers of Skittles, claiming the use of titanium dioxide makes them unfit for human consumption. Mars says, while we do not comment on pending litigation, our use of titanium dioxide complies with FDA regulations. If you go about your home gathering up all the products which contain titanium dioxide, you'll find a wide variety because the substance was approved back in 1966. And in the last 50 years, manufacturers have used it extensively. Is this material toxic as far as we know? The, the question is, how much are you getting? How often? Are you getting it in terms of a dose? Recently, a European study using mega doses of the substance came to the conclusion it should be banned. They said that there didn't appear to be uh, a lot of concerns except for the potential to affect uh, to affect uh, DNA in certain experiments that they ran. I wanted to know what studies show about how the body stores it. There has been some evidence it will collect in areas like kidneys or liver. Though it may migrate through the skin or be ingested, the body doesn't like it. Most of it is, is excreted. Another thing to consider, the use of titanium dioxide is now being phased out. The food industry as a whole is moving towards more natural ingredients for coloring, flavoring, and other purposes. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia. Very interesting stuff, Steve. Thank you very much.